Hi, I'm Heather. And I'm Winston. And we are so glad you are with us today. Yeah, we are. And today we're doing something very fun. Can you guess what we're doing? What? What are we doing? I want to know. I want to know. We are going to learn how to be heroes. Oh, neat. How do we do that? Well, we can only be heroes with Jesus' help. He is going to teach us how to be heroes. How? Jesus gives us everything we need to be heroes, and we are going to learn all about that through our Heroes song. I love songs! So let's all stand up together. And sing our Heroes song! Great singing and dancing, kids. You can all sit down now. I think I'm starting to learn what it means to be a hero, but I want to know more. Do you know any heroes? Oh, yeah. I know tons of heroes. There are many, many heroes in the Bible. Really? <laughs> really. So let's put on our superhero listening ears. And our superhero thinking helmets. And let's watch a Bible story about a hero. Heroes of the Bible, Noah. This is Noah. Noah is in the Hall of Fame because he listened to God. God created the whole universe. He created the sun and moon and stars, the sky above and the sea below. God created the animals and the people. Over time, the people on earth began to do bad things because they didn't listen to God. There was only one man in all the earth who was different because he listened to God. That man was Noah. So God told Noah to build an ark. He told Noah exactly how to build the ark, and it was to be the biggest boat ever built. 
God told Noah to build an ark for his family and the animals to live on during the flood. When the ark was ready, God told Noah to load everyone into the large boat. They entered in pairs, each with another of its kind. After seven days, it started to rain. The underground waters erupted from the earth and the rain fell in mighty torrents from the sky. It rained for 40 days and 40 nights and then stopped. Many days later, Noah sent out a dove to find dry land, but the dove came back. After seven days, Noah sent out the dove again and it returned with a branch. After seven more days, Noah released the dove again. This time, it did not return. This made Noah think the dove found dry land where it could rest. Noah lifted the covering of the boat and saw that the surface of the ground was dry. Noah trusted in God's plan and God protected his family during the flood. Now, the flood had come and gone, and Noah, his family, and all of the animals walked on land again. Noah built an altar and sacrificed burnt offerings to the Lord. God was pleased with Noah's sacrifice and made a promise to Noah that he would never again destroy the earth and every living thing with a flood. God put a rainbow in the sky to remind Noah and all mankind of this promise. Wow! That story was super amazing! I want to be a hero like that! Well, you can, Winston. Jesus gives us everything we need to be superheroes. We can be heroes when we do good to others and stand up for what's right. But how can I do that? I can't fly and I can't run really, really fast. Well, but God gives you the strength and power to do the good things he's planned for you to do. Oh, God has a plan for me? You mean a superhero plan? Yes, he does. And God has a plan for you guys too. How do you know that? The Bible says so. Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us that God has a good plan for us. Let's all sing that song together. Good idea. Let's all stand up. And sing Jeremiah 29, 11. can all sit down now. It makes me happy that God has a plan for me, and I know that God will give me the strength and the power to do what he has planned for me. But what can I use to complete my mission? Well, what do you mean? Well, I mean, superheroes always have really special things to help them, like a powerful hammer, or an awesome cape, or a ring that spits out green lightning. And I don't have anything like that. Ah, 
I see what you mean. Well, Winston, the great thing is that God's already given you some special things that will help you complete the super mission he has for you. Do you want to see what they are? Yes, yes I do, please. Okay, then we are going to join Zara and Abby and learn how Jesus makes us heroes. Wait, do I need my superhero listening ears? <laughs> yep. Kids, put on your superhero listening ears with us. And our superhero thinking helmets. And let's watch Jesus Make Me a Hero. Hi, Sara. What are you up to? Shh. Miss Danielle, I'm working on a surprise for Abby. What is it? It's a mask so I can be a hero. <laughs> A hero? Wow! Sara, did you know that God gives us everything that we need so we don't need a mask or a cape? Mm, I don't know what you mean, Miss Danielle. I thought all heroes had masks and capes. So, what did God give me that makes me a hero? Well, one thing God gave us are our hands. My hands? <laughs> yeah, God gave us our hands so that we can obey. To obey means to do what he says. And God wants us to help people, and we can use our hands to do that. Well, I can do that. Yes, I can! Wow! I never knew that God made me with all the things I needed to complete my superhero mission! <laughs> I think you are all ready to officially become superheroes. Oh yeah, I'm ready. Well, then it's time to say our superhero pledge. I'm ready. Superheroes out there, are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha, great. Repeat after me. I pledge to be a hero. I pledge to be a hero. This and every hour. This and every hour. Because God gives me strength. Because God gives me strength. And God gives me power. And God gives me power. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now you are officially a superhero. So go out there and remember that true superheroes obey and believe in God. They forgive and lead others. They listen and protect their friends. And you can be a true superhero because God gives you strength and power. We love you all and we'll see you next time. See you guys. <laughs>